Ricky Hatch. Thank you. Uh, thank God there's not two Ricky Hatch. <laughs> but wow, it's great to be here. I've not seen um, this many stars since I watched Manny Packer. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry for the condition I've turned up in, and it's clear to see you I'm Ricky Fatton. is uh, several pounds over the junior welterweight limit again. Well, in fairness, I have had a lot of me play lately. <laughs> but, uh, uh, um, the fans have always meant, you know, such a, such a thing to me. I mean, uh, my, my heroes, Nigel Ben, Barry McGuigan, and Frank Bruno, you know what I mean? I watched them for years, going to Las Vegas, but I mean, I think the fan base that I had was my greatest achievement that I took into retirement. It was absolutely unreal, and um, you know, to be here, you know, um, you know, at the Hall of Fame, you know, and, and spending time with the fans, you know what I mean? It's, it, it, the fans mean everything to me. They got me over that finish line so many times, you know, uh, the Costa Zoo fight, uh, when I moved up to Welterweight, the Louis Calazzo fight, that was an absolute war. Um, the fans mean a, a great deal to me, but I, um, I never thought when I was lacing them gloves on as a 10 year old and then I was in a state in Manchester watching the likes of, you know, Sugar Ray Robinson, Muhammad Ali, Joe Fraser, Jenna Potter, Randall Holyfield, Roberto Duran, that my name would be on a, I'd have a plaque on the same wall as all them people. And I went to the museum the third, last time I was here was 2006. And the museum has changed, you know, so much. Where so I stuck my head in today and had a look, and um, I shed a I shed a bit of a tear today when I saw my plaque on the wall, and it was only two pictures away from the Virgil Duran. Virgil Duran, my my hero, and I, I, I put the picture on me, my social media, and Virgil texted me, texted me back, said, "Well done, Rick. I'm proud of you, Ricky." I thought, "Oh my God, you're gonna see a grown man crying," and it did a bit cry. But um, it's great to be here, thank you. It's great to be here with my fellow inductees, you know what I mean? It's, uh, you know, the legends that was out on this top table and spending the evening with today. And, you know, just being around the Hall of Fame, the museum this afternoon, the greatness that is, you know, that around there, you know. I mean, I, I, mean, I, was, a, I was a professional boxer, but I'm a, I'm a boxing fan. And you know, to go around that museum and see my my little fat face <laughs> on that on that wall, it's a dream I'll never ever wake up for. But it's been a great uh, it's been a great week. Uh, the best is yet to come tomorrow. And I'd just like to say to Ed Brophy, thank you for having me. You tell you what, you made you you know we've done so many things. I think I speak for all the guys. You know, being the world champion was our Mount Everest. But when you get a call from the Boxing Hall of Fame. You know, to, to be inducted, it don't get better than that. So thanks, Ed, thank you. Well, thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. Not only will his fist and his plaque be enshrined here in Tanistota forever, but Ricky was kind enough to... It's not as good as Finn, is <laughs> ...to donate uh, those Roman uh, trunks. Take a look. Thought Freddie Pendleton in these?